happy birthday to me. Oh yes, April 20th. Is it your birthday too? I mean, man, there's like what, 3,800 of you? I'd have to think that there's some of you who are also celebrating your birthday today on April 20th. Well, today is my birthday. I'm 37 as of today, 37. And here's why I'm making this video. I think it's important to document my hair, my hairline, my hair density on my 37th birthday, just to give some hope to some of you out there. There is some thinning there. But to give some hope to some of you out there who are much, much younger, maybe even half my age, and uh, you're starting to maybe see the first signs of your hairline going back and you're freaking out. Oh no, am I gonna go bald? I've got some family members that are, am I gonna go bald? I make this video to provide hope for you that I thought the same thing. I, well, no, honestly, I didn't. I'm gonna be honest. I, I was never worried about hair loss because I always assumed I was gonna be bald. Wait, isn't that weird that I just said that? Yeah, I never worried about losing my hair because I always assumed I'd be balding. I always assumed that this would be my hairline probably when I was 21, and by the time I was 33 even, that I'd have just a strip here, is what I thought. So you can imagine, if you think that, your teenage years and, your, and all through your 20s, and then you get to your now late 30s, I, I'm even having trouble believing this is my hair. I, I never expected that, and that's, that's, that's a good little surprise. If you're having any anxiety about hair loss, the best thing you can do is prepare for it and be ready for it and make that part of your identity because then you overcome the problem to begin with. So that way, then you end up waking up on your 37th birthday and thinking, wow, I so don't even care about my hair anyway, but that's interesting. I've still got that much. But if you're one of the people who's gonna go bald, you're still gonna be okay anyway because you've overcome it. Now, if you subscribe to this channel, those are the things we're gonna be talking about. If that sounds interesting to you, because let's face it, come on, what's my competition out there on YouTube? What, hey, seriously, what is my competition on YouTube? It's people trying to, on a regular basis, try to get you to buy something. Now, sure, I'll talk about certain things you can buy. I'm not saying you should. I'm, th this is not a thing of, oh no, you're ugly if you lose your hair, you better do this. Nope, no, no, no. That's not what I do. I give hope to people in a way that other YouTubers typically don't. With me, there's options. With Nick Shell, there's options. The main one I'm gonna push on you, if I'm gonna push one on you, is to shave off your hair and see what you look like. Face that fear. But hey, if you wanna do Rogaine, if you wanna get a hair transplant, if you wanna do tattoo pigment, I'm all for it. You gotta do what's right for you. But you can see that already I'm singing a different tune than what you hear out there in media when it comes to hair loss. They think that there's one solution and one solution only and it always costs you money. And then there's Nick Shell and all I would cost you is your time for these free mentorship lessons on overcoming hair loss from within and realizing that in theory you might even be more handsome without hair. A lot of my viewers and subscribers have agreed that I actually am more handsome since I chose to shave off all my hair. So there's some hope that you're not used to, right? I'm Nick Shell, and this definitely is my 37th birthday. And even if you're starting to see your hairline go back at a much younger age, this still could be your hairline at age 37. It's all a gamble when it comes to DNA. But you can't control your DNA. You can control that brain inside your skull that chooses your perception of you being a confident and handsome man who fully embraces it, you could have that if you wanted it. And if you stick around, I'll help continue lead you to that fate.